Another night of drunken revelry, climaxed with the complete loss of all my faculties and power of rational mind. The existence of my tender years, of youthful erudition, and a promise of finer things in life was barely entertained by my now Spartan surroundings as I slept. Though I did try to hold fast to the formalities of my upbringing, I had nearly a dollar left to my name and was trying my landlord's patience. Little did I know that tonight would bring more than the prosaic bar fight or blackguard errand for a publican. Tonight would test my constitution and fortitude tenfold. I'm about to find out that life doesn't stand still for long. Mr. Ransom, get up, get up, get to the wall. Lord, what is the matter? It sounds like Bedlam out there. Are we under attack? I'll be down in just a moment, Mr. Trask. There you are. There's an awful tumult outside. Reports gunfire in the whole lot. And the horse rail just now collided with Mrs. Peterson's low house. A fellow just passed by white as a sheep, told me to fly while I can. I'm not sure if we're at war or suffering God's rants, but like hell am I leaving my shop? Well, well, old man, if you're up for a fight, get behind that counter and hand me anything useful. I'll stand at the ready and fire at anyone who asks for it. What did we do to warrant this? Those aren't soldiers. What in God's name are those? God, what are these things? God, these things are going to let out. Do put the shit and get it in by the windows and doorway. With all the haste. Mr. Trask, you're in my debt for this one. Ugh, I'll try to draw them off, whatever the hell they may be. See that stain upon the floor? Break the floorboards there. You'll find an old tunnel that escaped slaves once used. It leads to the sewers. You can possibly use it to evade the perils outside and find help. Pick up anything useful you can carry as well. I'll be fine here. The board should hold fast. And Mr. Rats, if you do this for me, I'll forget the matter of your being late in your rent. Godspeed. If you're seriously suggesting I risk life and limb to go out again, well, if I've got enough whiskey, I've got the smack, Jack. This has all just served to pique my curiosity. I'm willing to see what else the devil has in his congregation. And Mr. Trask, try I and keep yourself a bit more than about. Rats, Mr. Rats. This seems a trifle more perilous than last year's July. But at any rate, I will return with help. Fare thee well.
don't rest much hope in that bridge, if that's what you wish to call it. Merciful salvation! Fresh air again. Perhaps I'll find some help here. Plenty of signs of life so far, just no life attending them. Perhaps luck will change at the good old Dwyer State.
must have come out at the old Dwyer residence. If no credence attended the rumors regarding this property before, I can be sure it does now. Abandoned for a year's time. <laughs> Let's see who's home. Damn, I hate mazes. It's dead. Clear to the toxin. Who or what the hell is banging out that old tune? Either way, I'm about to find out. can only guess what happened here. These unfortunates must have been mutilated hours hence. Must have been the ones who lit the gas. Man, that's a fine way to get yourself shot. Tramping in here like a fusilier without so much as announcing yourself. But by God, am I uncommon glad. I'm Barnaby, Private Barnaby. It's a damn pretty sight to see a man on his feet. I hope that wasn't you playing the piano. I was beginning to doubt my strength of mind. Well, extraordinary circumstances call for extraordinary introductions. And it's a pity the only one there to take my calling card was uh, subject to harsh criticism on the part of his dismal playing. They call me Half Rats, and you'll find we have mutual sentiments. You're the first living mortal I've yet seen tonight. I must ask that if you have any better idea than I regarding recent events, do speak up. The way I see it, seems like Providence then took a long walk, chum. My entire company was dispatched, so we can't be expecting the army to deliver us. The powers of hell itself came upon us. Plenty of good men died, killed by no right creatures in God's creation. Suffice it to say, I managed to escape with my skin and made my way to the outskirts of town. I came upon this place, and it seemed as good as any in this hell. It looked as if whatever took this poor lot had moved on. I was searching for the key to the cellar for victuals, and then you came along. Not long after that goddamn den downstairs played up. I found the key there on the Davenport, by the way. 
Excellent, but this all means that the situation is far worse than I had imagined. The cellar is precisely where I wish to go. With the dispensation of the army to consider, if we're going to have a ghost of a chance, we'll need to procure concessions and ammunition for the night. We simply won't make it long enough for federal forces to arrive otherwise. We'll then need to make our way back to a general store that I am intimately acquainted with. I left a friend there service, alone. Sir. I resolve that our only recourse is to escape entirely. The train yard will surely have the means to deliver us. I hope that sits well with you. <sighs> I was vainly hoping perhaps the army might have had some clue as to what these aberrations are and why they're here, you know. But it seems perdition has eclipsed providence and reason itself tonight. Truer words ain't been spoken yet. I'll be your right hand. I've already bore witness to enough death tonight. Damned if I'll let another good fella go. Right you are, soldier. We will never let the place yet. Mm. It appears the common hypothesis was incorrect. Look, man, there's still ice in the box. And just there, fresh meat upon the floor. How queer. I don't suppose it would keep for that long. I don't believe this place was as empty as it was made out to be. And just where does that portal in the wall lead? Let's go up and let's find out. The door was locked from without. So whoever those upstairs were, they were trying to keep something from getting out. Be wary. I believe there may be darker secrets got the better down of them. here. Diabolical operations with the preternatural must play at the center of all of this. What does it all mean? Who was doing this? Doggin. I'll bear it. At your service, sir. Don't stray too far now. I'm at your back. Dogging. I'm not sure which is worse, all the tunnels or what has inhabited them. Appears we're out in the country. I'm sure I'll know how to get back to the store now. Uh, I confess I'm not much more enlightened of the situation than I was previously. What was seen just entertained more questions. How are you holding up after that, Barnaby? I don't I don't reckon I don't reckon I could go on. It's all too much and it just gets worse. I told you to steal up I know. But there can't be no way of knowing where this ends or from where they'll come. This is hell, Mr. Rats. We are damned. How else could any of this be? My friends are all dead. The city's ablaze. Brimstone in the air. This must be a nightmare. I thought I had the stuff, Mr. Rats, but I'm losing my faculties. I never saw them form out of nothing like that. Now listen here. This isn't hell until we've run out of ammunition. This isn't hell until we've run out of whiskey. And I'm not drunk enough for this to be but a mere nightmare. There's a way out of this. We're going to find it. We owe it to all those who died to press on. You enlisted for a reason. No matter the quantity you face, come hell or high water. And it turns out it's the former. You'll make it. We'll make it. 
after all you've been through, and some cheap illusionist trick performed by a lone imp is going to break you up? I was a surly lush, a drunken scoundrel before all of this. Every soul I knew hence has most assuredly had their mortal flame extinguished this very night. If I've come this far, oh, you could go further yet. Now, I may not be an officer, but I'm, I, I'm ordering you to press on. For God, for your country, for your fallen brethren, Private Barnaby. You could very well be the last of them. Well, I can only utter two words to that. Yes, sir. At your service, sir. Scout ahead. I'm at your back. Damn those bastards. Those instruments of the devil. I recognize these fellas. All of them. Wait. Wait, what's that? Rimholt? It's me! I'm coming for you, Rimholt! What? Barnaby, you silly ass! Who are you calling to? Get back here! God, he's vanished? No, no, can't have gone far. My God, fancy what, what they've done to the church! The... Bells! Bells! Poor Barnaby. Could he have still been alive? Not now. Damn me! And damn that beast! No, no, I, I have to get back to the store. Uh, I can't let anyone else stay not notice. I have to put some more money between myself and that thing. This place is another disaster. simply won't do. Hold on, sir. I'll have you down in but a moment. Uh, whoops. So much for being quiet. Oh. Whew, that thing is relentless. I need to get out of here quickly.
appears this gate is electric. I'll have to get to the powerhouse. Sounds like the engine's running at least. Huh? What's that? No publican to cut me off. I think I've lost that beast for now. Probably thinks I'm still inside the inn. Damn it. Spoke well, too soon, I did. Have a quick drink in Barnaby's now, memory. Do this. On the house. Oh, there we are. Is that a key? Hmm. Let's see if it will open the powerhouse. Mr. Trask, it's me. Are you still alive? I fear that the army's been annihilated, Mr. Trask. And there are rather large things out here. And I do wish you would answer me soon. Since I'm being dogged, Mr. Trask. Jesus, I know he's in there. All right, that tears it. I'm breaking in. Then, if you don't want to rouse their attentions, you best keep it down, Mr. Rats. Barnaby, is that you? Think what must be left of heaven that you're alive. If I wasn't so glad to see your face again, I'd kill you for certain this time. What were you on about leaving me out here to carry on like that? What happened to you? And where's Mr. Trask? Yes, it's me, in the flesh. I must admit, I had quite a spell over me, but I'm all myself now. All I can recall in my recollection was that I went around the corner and dove into the brush near the church. I could have sworn I saw Rimholt in the wood. He was an acquaintance of mine, a fellow soldier who went missing before the first battle took place. He was an odd fellow. I seem to remember him carrying some sort of pendant near to his heart. He was plenty careful to keep it hidden most times, but I caught a gander once. Something about him always seemed off, but passing on, the last thing I knew, I took a knock to the head. Passing strange. Call it a miracle, if you will, but I came to very near here and found my way to the only store that looked to be inhabited, and wriggled my way in between these boards. Ha! <laughs> Which sure gave Mr. Trask a start. He's in the storeroom at the moment. I spoke to him regarding the trip. He seems reluctant, but I'm sure I made him see it our way. One thing is vexing me, though. I have this strange mark on me I didn't have before, and... Ah, there he is now. I knew you'd pull through, Mr. Rents. Barnaby here saved my sanity. And yes, I have spoken about the plan and wholly agree. I'm terribly sorry about your being left out there, but hopefully you'll remit, for I know a thing or two regarding trains and of a shortcut to the station, which we can avail ourselves of. I'm hot to go whenever both of you are. I understand something very large is... hunting you, Mr. Rats. Despite previous transgressions, it does warm my heart to see us all here together. You're full of pleasant surprises tonight. But we've dawdled long enough. We've got a train to catch, and I'm certain that thing's still at my heels. And Barnaby, what was that mark you were referring to earlier? Ah, it's probably nothing. Really. Could be just a blame I was too carried away to notice before. We can proceed through the druggists. If my father could have I'm seen you before out tonight, he'd follow you. Back to hell with you. 
You're a man of strong resolve. Going out alone? All right, Mr. Rats. You take the lead. Oh. I'll keep watch behind. Godspeed, Mr. Rats. Do you reckon we'll see daylight? Yes. I'm sure. Scout ahead. I'll keep watch behind. You're a man of strong resolve. If my father could have seen what we bore out tonight, he'd follow you too. Dargan. Mr. Rats, there had better be a damn good reason. I'll keep watch behind you. All right, Mr. Rats, you take the lead. You're a man of strong resolve. Going out alone. If my father could have seen what we bore out tonight. At your service, sir. Godspeed, Mr. Rats. I'll bear it. At your service, sir. If my father could have seen what we bore out tonight. <laughs> when you saw straight too far, now. did you ever expect to pull out of Godspeed, Mr. Rats. Did you see that? Okay. I'm no physician, but this is sure to abate the pain. Sir, you're looking a bit worse for wear. Don't stray too far now. I'm at your back. All right, Mr. Rats. You take the lead. Mr. Rats, you take the lead. What did we do to warrant this? What luck! There it is. What a sight for sore eyes. Everything we need's on board. How quickly could you put this brew into locomotion? Thankfully, mm. it's already been warmed up. It shouldn't be long at all. Just in time. We've been expecting you.
hell with you? At your service, sir. I'll bear it. I won't stand another minute of this place. Are we ready? Mr. Trask, you impressed me greatly. It's a shame Barnaby isn't here. But you know, he saved us in the end. Do you think mankind will prevail? Or are we all damned to die? Is our destination even safe? I guess all of this was quite real. Suppose we'll never know. Why? And from what's this game? But, uh, sooner or later the shock will wear off, and so will the liquor. And I'll admit that I'll be conscious for that. How are you faring? Oh my. It would appear we have some rather unruly passengers. Just dandy. It's all right, it's all right. I'll take care of these hangers on. All right, you goddamned...
Again, I swear it, I swear it. <laughs> Ow. Blasted the store with meat. Probably the Hurstons. Trask? No, no, that was wishful thinking. The very walls and floor itself appear to be made of meat. I I'm still dreaming. I must be. What? What is all this? I demand to know. Welcome back, Mr. Rats. And you have my sincere congratulations. You seem to have suffered no vicissitudes regarding your performance last night. You have passed your trial and, despite a singular consistency, an industry not seen in most. I believe we can now divulge the truth. This is my superior, who I will refer to as Mr. C. He and I go back ages, you know. I was the one who entreated my inferiors to break the final seal, all at his behest. And for a less than modest price, I was happy to lead the very operation which brought hell to earth. No doubt you came across our dear little meeting place at the church. And did you find that our accommodations at the Dwyer residence to your liking? Too bad about my little worker bees. But the ends justify the means. Today, the city. Tomorrow, the entire world. And in due time, you will share these same sentiments, Mr. Rats. I am sure of it. You have proven to be more than capable of handling matters. Precisely as your lifestyle led me to believe you would be. And I'd like to take the opportunity to extend to you an offer of greater things serving at my side. But all this may be too much weight on your shoulders at the moment. For now, I bid you adieu. I will be keeping you here for as long as necessary, and will be eagerly awaiting your decision. And to afford you one last courtesy, Mr. Ratz, that mark upon Barnaby was merely our way of cataloging their numbers. Tell me you noticed he wasn't the only Barnaby in our midst. Oh, shit. Tired, Mr. Rats. <laughs> 